Hello! Have you ever thought about giving a massage as a gift? As a gift to someone you love? It can be your partner, your relative. Even if you've never done massage before, you can still do it. And today I'm going to introduce some tips and simple techniques and you'll be able to do it. I'm going to demonstrate massage that you can give to anyone at home and it will be a shoulder and neck area. First of all, many people start massage by squeezing the muscles with their fingers. Then fingers get tired in 5-10 minutes and people cannot continue. Instead, we can just place hands on person's client's shoulders and feel the muscles, feel the skin, applying very light, gentle pressure. We can notice the difference between left and right side, muscle tightness, and then placing our hands on the neck, move it down, nice and slow, soft pressure. And again, light pressure, Downwards motion, keeping our hands relaxed. Then we can start with the base of the neck, which is right here. And again, placing our hands and applying a bit of a pressure, making sure that our client tells us if the pressure is too much or if there is any discomfort, then we can press less. Or if the person asks us to press again, same area, feel free to do it. Moving from central line, you can feel the bone here, the spine. Don't press on the bone, just move next to it. There is a muscle between the shoulder blade and the central spine bone. And then applying pressure either with your phalanx and the hand, like this, or using your thumbs. And then moving one inch sideways towards the shoulder. Feeling the muscles getting relaxed. One inch further. And again. Compressing the muscles. Feeling the changes. Moving towards the shoulder bones just where the arm attached to the body. Reaching the shoulders, we can change our grip to so-called cupping grip and press for 20 seconds right on the shoulder joint and relax. And apply a little bit of downward pressure almost like we are opening the shoulders without actually moving them. 20 seconds of pressure and relax. Again, moving to our midpoint and feeling for the shoulder blade. Right between the shoulder blade and the spine bone, there are two lines of muscles. First, we can warm them up with downward motion nice and relaxed and the other side you can use both hands and then you can use your fingertips circular motions working on the muscle then moving half an inch down 
next segment downward circular motion and half an inch down again going all the way next to the shoulder blade and repeat on the other side and finish off with a nice relaxed stroke there is also a muscle above the shoulder blade right on top of the bone which you can massage with exactly the same technique either fingertips or the base of your fingers light pressure moving towards the shoulder And repeating on the other side. Again, you can use your thumbs. And finish off with the light pressure, wide stroke. Moving down on the shoulder blade, massaging the muscle which covers the shoulder blade. Pressing with our palm, moving again towards the shoulder. Going back to the base of the neck and feeling for the muscles which go both sides of the neck. Applying very gentle pressure, moving upwards. Here you can change your grip. Instead of massaging with the tip of the finger, use U-shape grip. I'm stabilizing the head with one hand and gently using U-grip applying pressure the base of the neck moving up and up until I reach the base of the skull and finish off again with nice downward stroke If you feel your fingers getting tired, you can always, I'm working on the other side, help yourself and push the muscle from front to back and the other hand simply mix the muscle and you compress it between two of your hands. Feeling for the compression, muscle is relaxing. And we can finish massage with gentle compression all over the neck and shoulder area. And a stroke towards the shoulder. Soothing the tissues. That's a simple massage technique that you can use to help your relatives, your loved one, to get rid of stiffness in shoulders and the neck.